Hi guys, I'm Greg from Basic GDOT and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see in this video, I'm in deep space. I'm actually right now um, in space and I'll show you where I am if I go onto my galaxy map. And you can see if I just scroll out, you can see that I'm I'm actually on my way at the moment to Colonia. So you can see how far I've come. I'm about I'm not exactly sure how far I've got left to go, but if I, yeah, if I just hover there, you can see Ogmar, which is in Colonia. It's about 7,000 light years away from where I'm, from my, you know, to my destination. So I'm actually going to Loss, is my destination, um, which has got, um, if I just scroll, lock onto that, and you can see. So I'll just scroll out. So my destination is actually Loss, because I'm going to see Etienne Dawn. The engineer to try and get my um, uh, life support a bit lighter um, but obviously I've got a bit of a way to go um, but at the moment what I'm doing to get to um, loss is I'm using what you call the neutron highway so basically I use ne neutron stars to overcharge my um, frame shift drive um, to basically um, quadruple the uh, distance of my frame shift drive so um, using um, a website called Neutron Plotter, um, on which I use Google Chrome for, um, which I can find on Google Chrome, um, I could use that to find a, a course to my destination, and then as I'm uh, going from each neutron star, going to each neutron star, I, th I can then plot a course to the next uh, neutron star using the Neutron um, uh, Neutron Plotter. What I've actually done is I've got the uh, the course itself that I need uh, downloaded on my phone. Um, so it's a CSV file. So all I had to do is actually download it onto my. I downloaded an app onto my phone, CSV CSV file viewer, which um, I then use to download the route that I'm going to use to get to my destination. So so far, I think I've done 61 jumps so far something like that it's around about 61 jumps so I've still got a few to go I've got a total of 87 to do so um, yeah so I've still got a few to do but we're getting there you know I'm most of the way there and it's a very fast very quick and efficient way of traveling by using the the, um, the neutron highway so just to sort of update on the last video that I did I did um, make a few changes to this ship because unfortunately the way I left it the last time I neglected to, to uh, notice that my uh, power supply or my power plant um, didn't provide enough power for my shields. So what I had to do is I went to um, uh, to another engineer to get my um, shields reduced in, in weight and also to reduce the power requirements for them. And I can show you actually, I'll go into my modules and you can see my shield generator there. Show info. Um, it's stripped down. Hang on, if I go, I'll find, yes, you've got enhanced low power shields, and also it's stripped down, so the mass is now 0 0.9 tons, which is really cool, I've managed to reduce the mass of my shields, and um, it's also reduced the power requirement as well, which is really, really good, so now that I actually produce more than enough power, um, my power supply produces enough power to cover the, for the shields as well, which is really good, and also the auto field maintenance unit as well, which I had to buy because one thing with using the neutron highway um every time you supercharge your um frame shift drive it does actually damage it slightly um so what will happen is it will degrade over time um to the point where it won't work or won't 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 work properly properly so then i have to use my auto field maintenance maintenance unit as you can see i've used some of it already to repair my frame shift drive in order to to keep it going um as you can see, I've used some ammunition, but as I say, if I need to, I can resupply it. I've got materials there that I can use to reload it. Um, I can use different qualities of, you know, I can speed up the repair time if I need to, uh, depending on what materials I've got. But to be fair, the basic one is just is more than good enough. Okay, so at the moment, um, where am I? So at the moment, let's go into Galaxy Map. As you can see, I'm at, um, that's completely unpronounceable, but Stuilio OXSD4283. Um, that's the star that I'm at. 
Um, but I'm not going to refuel yet. Because, uh, sorry, I'm not going to supercharge my um, frame shift dry yet because I am very low on fuel and I need to refuel my ship. Because one thing with using the Neutron Highway, you can use the Neutron Stars to supercharge your frame shift drive, but it doesn't refuel them. So I still need to refuel my uh, my ship. So what I need to do is to go to a, a system as close as possible. If I can find one, it's not too far away. Um, what about this one? That one's seven light years. That one's 6.42. I don't want anywhere that's too... Yeah, that'll do. What star is it? It's a K-type, so that's great. That'll do. And use that to refuel. And I'll jump there. It's only a short jump. That's it. And then I shall refuel at this star, then jump back to this neutron star. Use that to supercharge my frame shift drive. I'll scan it while I'm here. I'm just keep it on the an eye on the fuel rate that it doesn't get too high. That'll do. Because what happens is it's my ship can overheat. And you can see it's re refueling quite quickly. It won't take too long. But I've got to watch my temperature. So it's getting a bit hot now. Should be okay. Nearly there. That's it, we'll fly away now. That's it. And then we go into Galaxy Map. We need to go back to where I've just come from. So, what was it called? Let's have a look on my phone because I've got it stored on my phone. I can't see. Put my glasses on. <laughs> there you go. OXS. So where is that? D4316. Uh, D4283. So where is it? I think it's two, there we are. That one there. Doink. That's the one. So jump back there. fly into these things. This is where it gets interesting. So I don't want to come in too fast. Right. A reasonable speed. So these are the basically these are the jet cones, so here we go. There you go. So what I do to get out of it, because I'm still out of control, is just speed up and I'll fly out. There we go. Right, so, next job now is go into my galaxy map and this, click on the box and then I have to type in, is it stu, S-T-U-E, O-U, Z-P, P-N, D7 dash 534 534 There you go. And look at that. 280 light years. 
So what I've done is I've plotted the course there, but it's important to click on this one here. Doink. And you watch, it'll turn blue. And that's just a jump now, a direct jump straight there. No messing. But you'll see now, if I go into my modules, you'll see now my frame shift drive is ever so slightly down. It's down to 98% now. So usually when it gets to about 90, 91% I'll repair it. Usually to be honest when I have to refuel. So so here we go. Let's do the jump. Frame shift drive charging. <clears throat> So now that I've refueled, I could do this probably for the next next six jumps. Set. So just fly into the jet cone, slow down, don't want to come in too fast. Warning, drive operating beyond safety limits. It's so easy to fly out of them. Try and get back into it. That's it. It's got it. There we go. So now we just repeat. So what's the next one? Click on the box. So the next one is bluer. So I have to make them unpronounceable. Yuk. <laughs> E U A C B A dash Y D one dash five six two. See if I spelt it right. Oh, I've made a mistake somewhere. E A is it I don't know what I've done. So click on it. E A E. I'll put E U A a hang on doink now let's try it there we go you have to be so accurate with that hang on a minute I've done another mistake here so I've missed okay so what I've done is I've gone to the wrong system so we try again I've jumped I've skipped the system I think so what I should have done is gone to studio stu that's it. And it should be MD dash I, MD dash I, D10, 10 dash 235. 235. Hang on. Yeah, so, gotta be so careful. Gotta put an E in there. There we go. That's better. Now we can do it and then click the little box and we're away. Gotta to go to another one. Slow down. So easy to come in too fast. Warning. That's it. Frame shift drive operating beyond safety limits. Frame shift drive That's it. That's got it. Just speed up. There you go. That gets me out of there. So this time. One thing I'll find is it's very useful to write down the number of the jump so I know where I am because it's easy to lose track. It's a lot of jumps. So this one should be Stulu Stu 
and an E. I don't want to make that mistake again. So Stewie Lou, and this one is DC dash B, DC dash B, D14 440, D14 dash 440. Enter. Yep, that's a 276 light year jump. And we jump that. So you can see it's, it's worth the effort. So even though it's a lot of messing around, having to type in the name and, and look it up and, and everything, it's, it's a huge, huge jump. I mean, it's like four jumps in one hit. So, I mean, this, my ship has got a range at the moment, I think, of, I think it's 73 light years. Because I, I decided to get the 32 tonne fuel tank in the end. I was going to get the 16 tonne, but I got the 32 tonne, and I'm so glad I did. Because it means I can do more jumps before I refuel. So this time I'll scan it, I forgot to do it last time. Not that it matters. Oh, coming in too fast. Bit too fast, but we should be alright. So just come out of that. Here we go. Right, I'll write down that was jump number 64. So now we got to go to. Bluer Yuk. Hang on, is it? Yes, it is. So this will be jump number 65. So, B L U R. Uh, e A E E A E C. Yuk. B A dash Y dash Y. This is the one I did before. D1562. D1 dash 562. Enter. There we go. It's a bit closer this time. And that's it. Frame shift drive boost. And here we go, another jump. to this. Slow down. Don't want to come in too fast. Get the speed right. I should do. Not fly out. Not quite. And there we go. Right, so before I continue, let's have a good condition of my frame shift drive. So you can see it's at 92%, which is still okay, um, but I'll probably repair it soon. So let's go to the next one. So that was jump number 65, write that down, so I don't lose count. And then I've got another blue ook, blue, bluer. Do, do, do. And it's O N dash S O N dash S D four three four eight D four dash three four eight. And it's really useful this app on my phone. You know, it's it's um because I've literally got the entire route right there in front of me. And I can just read it off my phone and type it straight into into uh, Elite Dangerous. And there we are. You know, doink. And then so you see this dotted line. It means that using normal fuel I don't have enough like normal jumps I don't have enough fuel to do it but click this little box doink one jump sorted I love it so let's do it Frame 
frameshift drive charging. Here's the next neutron star. You notice that every single star I go to, apart from when I refuel, is a neutron star. So it's huge jump after huge jump. That's it. Job done. So I'm going to do one more jump. So this will be jump number, that was jump number 66, write that down, and then 67 this will be, so this is blue yuk again, bluer, I'm getting used to writing it now, so that's wk-n, wk-n, uh, d7-1466, d7 Dash fourteen sixty six. Enter. Okay. That's two hundred eighty nine light years. It's not bad at all. So frame shift boost, one jump. Brilliant. Frame shift drive charging. <coughs> What I'm going to do this time, sit, scan it. I'm going to fly away from the star this time. That's it, let's get a bit further away. This time I shall stop. That's it, come out of frame shift, and then full stop. Go into frame shift drive, I shall deactivate it and then go into repair. Doink. And just wait for that to do its work. Should have enough um, ammunition there to do it. And if not, as I say, I can always reload it. But yes, one thing I will say um, that's important. Um, one thing I will say is it's it's important that you come out of frame shift drive first. And um, I what I generally do is I deactivate it before I repair it. Um, because if I if I literally I, I made the mistake as you can see one or two of my modules have been like this is a bit of damaged here power plant slightly damaged only slight but I made the error of hitting repair on the frame shift drive whilst I was in frame shift um, and my ship stopped did an emergency stopped and all my hull got damaged as you can see I got 98% hull and I got a lot of my other modules got damaged as well I used my auto field maintenance unit to repair a lot of them and a couple of them I did wasn't able to but or to be fair they're good enough but um, yeah so that was a bit of a schoolboy error on my part so it's important to come out of frame shift drive first. Um, I'm not sure if it's important, but I always deactivate it first and then I repair it. And of course, I have to reactivate it now because if I don't, I can't go back into frame shift drive. All right, so that's that's an important point. Don't do what I did and just go whilst you're in frame shift. Just go frame shift drive repair because your ship will come out of frame shift through an emergency stop and it will damage your ship. All right. So yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do before I continue, 
I'm going to plot a course to to um, a star where I can refuel. So there's one there. That would do me. And I'll call it a night because I'm just going to do repeat, literally repeat what I've just done. So I'm going to refuel at this star, come back here, um, supercharge my frame shift, and I shall continue. But um, but there you go. That's how you use the neutron highway um, and how you refuel at neutron stars. It's quite simple. Um, it's not that hard. It takes a little bit of practice, but um, just follow some r some very important rules, and it's it's a very very efficient way of traveling long distance in Elite Dangerous. And as I say, the um, the website uh, Neutron Plotter, um, which you you can a access on your phone, um, you are, you can actually download the uh, course that you've plotted if you want to. Say you're writing it all out onto a CSV file. Um, so as I say, I I installed the CSV. Um, uh, adverts. It's the only trouble with the CS file V scanner is it has adverts. It's really, really awkward, but it does the job. So yeah, I just went to Google Chrome and just um, sorry Google Play Store and downloaded a, a CSV file viewer. So it enabled me to um, see the file and um, to be able to plot the course. So use that to uh, plot the course. So yes, yeah, so I shall leave it there guys and uh, hopefully that's been of some use to anybody that's interested in using the no Neutron Highway. But um, hopefully uh, the next time you see me or hear from me I shall be in Colonia um, going to see um, Etienne Dawn to do the final upgrade on this ship. So and um, I'm looking forward to that. So thanks very much guys for listening and watching and um, as I say if, if you like or if you happen to enjoy the content that I do, then please feel free to like. Or also, you know, please subscribe. It would be much appreciated. Um, but otherwise, uh, you take care, guys. And thanks for listening and watching. All right. Bye-bye for now. Bye.